here are my old ones that I had over for two years. These shoes have lasted me two freaking years. And here are my new gorgeous ones I get to put on today. I'm so excited to wear them. They're so freaking comfortable. One thing is just making sure your feet are comfortable when you're athletic, guys. It's not worth an injury or a fracture. I told my husband my feet are shrinking because you're losing weight. I'm losing weight, which honestly they do. I used to be a seven and now I'm a six and a half, six. They honestly do shrink, honey. But I love these shoes so much. I'm putting them on right now. I found these two years ago. And like I said, they're my favorite because you don't have to wear socks with them. So this insert in here is actually sewed in. You cannot take this insert out. So you don't need to use any kind of other inserts. So I don't have to use my custom inserts that I got from the podiatrist, which is cool because I only really like wearing those when I'm running or doing like polyometrics, which I don't do a lot of that anymore because of my foot fracture that I'm healing from from two years ago too. So I found these after I fractured my foot, guys. And my foot used to keep me up late at night aching until I found these. And it honestly added so much cushion right underneath. So my fracture is right underneath my big toe right here. So this is the like, top of my foot. It's like underneath here. So my fracture is right here, split. That little knuckle is split. And when I found these, like my foot didn't give me fuss anymore when I had to work or at night keeping me up. And um, like I said, the only time I wear my custom inserts is when I do polyometrics or running but other than that when I'm squatting just doing a little light jog to the the Stairmaster these are the best shoes guys the best by Under Armour they're called the Gemini's so I woke up this morning and I must have sprained I hope I didn't break my wrist. I don't think I broke it because I don't think it would have let me sleep last night, but you never know. Um, my hand is super swollen all throughout here. So it hurts. I think I, I sprained it last night out of Waterworld getting those tubes or getting in groceries last night, grabbing too many grocery bags at once. Super weak. I couldn't even lock, unlock the door this morning and I can't put any weight on it whatsoever. So sometimes you get battle wounds, but I'm going to wrap it and still go to the gym and do some cardio and abs. Definitely not a lifting today though. We can see here. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts when I go like that. Too, and it hurts when I go like that. So I'm going to be come, becoming apodextrous and be using my left hand and something in the shower told me yesterday to start using my left hand anyway because my acupuncturist even noticed how more so my right side because I'm right handed is developed muscularly. So I'm going to start utilizing my left hand. I started brushing my teeth and washing my body in the shower and grabbing groceries with my left hand and just making this more of the dominant working hand so I could utilize the side the left side and get these muscles more active and larger instead of my right. So we'll see how it goes later on today. So that's it. Here are my old ones that I had over for two years. These shoes have lasted me two freaking years. And here are my new gorgeous ones I get to put on today. I'm so excited to wear them. They're so freaking comfortable. One thing is just making sure your feet are comfortable when you're athletic, guys. It's not worth an injury or a fracture.